So next up on the demonstrative video front, we're going with feeding with a catapult while using a pole that me and Andrew have both had it for many, many, many occasions over the years while we've been coaching. People sort of shy away with it. I mean, they'll often not feed the pegs properly with a catapult because they're, they're not confident, if anything. I mean, they've not been shown, they're not confident in using a catapult while they're holding the pole. And if I'm completely honest, as long as you follow the steps in holding your pole in the correct manner, it really, really is an easy thing. But what I'm going to do is go through exactly how I do things to keep it as simple and as accurate as possible. So straight on with it. We've got a bit of an angle of a dangle just so we can see everything. Obviously, we're not interested in feeding a peg today. I've not even got a rig on today to catch fish. So I've shipped out anyway. Pole is out. And as I've mentioned lots and lots of times, it's got to be held correctly. So the hole in my right hand forearm is supporting my pole. Yeah, it's all there, all lovely, all the way down my pole. Nice, keeping it right. My left leg, me being right-handed, my left leg supports my pole. I mean, and that's the one that responds to a bite. If anything happens, I can just lift my left leg, lift my knee slightly, I'm going to respond to a bite. So it's all held lovely, secure in place. So all it comes down to now is feeding. Yeah, so I've got my catapult. First thing I want to do is grab the cup in my right hand. My right hand actually never moves. I mean, that stays in a fixed position all the time when I'm holding it on my pole. And what I want to do is have my cup so it's ready to accept the bait. Yeah, so I'm holding the cup. I can literally grab that without even looking at it. Face the cup upwards, so I've got the string in between my fingers there nicely. I mean, that's ready to go, but the cup's there ready for me to put the bait into it. So I can keep watching me float. I can put that in my hand, feel for the cup. It's pointing upwards. I've thrown the catapult frame along my leg. I know everything's straight, everything's nice, everything's ready to go, which is exactly how I want it. Then all I need to do, reach down into my bait tub, which that's worth mentioning as well, you know. I see that quite often is people having the... Um, the side trays a little bit too low and you end up having to lean and, and do silly things. What I actually want is to be able to put my hand down. So when I'm sat, I can put my hand down, it's straight into my tub. So I have it at a height where I'm gonna reach my bait straight away, just comfortably. I'm not having to stretch, reach for it, anything like that, that will affect my, my float staying still. So my bait's right in the right position. I wanna go down, grab how many pellets I want or whatever bait I want. In that case, I've got what, 10 pellets, who knows what. Straight into my cup. Yeah, so that sat up nicely, there's no chance of them spilling. I mean, it's all there, lovely, ready to go pretty much. Next thing I want to do, pick my frame up. Yeah, I'm going to literally straighten it all up. So I've just moved it, so I've grabbed the string. Yeah, so that just pretty much as I was, it just slips through my fingers, the string. Yeah, and I've got that ready to go. The cord of the catapult's ready to go. You see, I'm pointing it up in the air, but with no force, just enough tension to stop them spilling. And literally, it's a case of bending out to where you want to go, but in one motion. What I don't want to do, um, should I do it this? Yeah, let me do it the wrong way first, is pausing. If I pause there, then there's a chance that my pellets are going to start falling out and weird things are going to happen. I want it to be one nice fluid motion of literally extend my arm and push away at the same time. So I'm dropping it down, extending it, and I let go in one motion. Yeah, it keeps it nice and fluent, less chance of spillage, maintains accuracy because it's all one... Well, it's like a cog moving, isn't it? It's one moving part instead of any pauses in it. Same again, bait in, look where I'm going, nicely and fire that. It's one motion and you can see my catapult is sideways. Yeah, I'm not holding it straight like a conventional catapult to be sort of fed. It's sideways, yeah? And the bottom of the frame, the bottom, what are we going to call it? The bottom arm, you can see, put me pellets in, a few more than that. My bottom arm is slightly ahead of this one, yeah? Bottom arm is slightly ahead of the top frame because that's what keeps it angled. So my bait's going to fire as flat as possible along the length of my pole. Yeah, the flatter I can feed my bait without having to put it up in the air, the more accurate it is, the tighter it'll go. Yeah, as soon as you start trying to lob your bait in, then wind becomes an influence, your bait starts spreading, and you don't achieve the level, level of accuracy that you would if you fire it nice and flat. I mean, the flatter within reason that you can keep it, the more accurate your bait will be, especially with pellets. So you can see side on with catapult, that bottom leg's just leading, yeah, just lead in, let go. Yeah, it keeps everything beautifully tight and I can just keep doing that. Eventually, you can get to the point where you can never even look at your catapult. You can just keep on doing it nice and fast, but with the same results every time because everything's nice and secure, supported by your leg. And if you get a bite while you're doing it, you just quickly respond with a lift of your left leg and you are good to go. So definitely not something we should be scared of. Keep things really easy when using the catapult and without doubt, you'll be able to keep your feed really really nice and accurate and above all else you are able to feed while you're fishing instead of being stuck with just being air uh, feeding with a pot and not having the option of a catapult at all so hopefully that fixes that one
Thank you, lads. Very, very sorry to interrupt your video watching. How dare you? Quickly, if you haven't already noticed, we have managed to write a book, haven't we? Yes, we have, Which Jamie. Is full of all our very bestest methods and features or whatever else we do on this wonderful subject of fishing. So if you haven't had a look already, go and have a look at winningways.shop and buy one for yourself.